Hello everyone, how are we? My name is Jamie, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you watch me already. Hello, how are we? So earlier in the month, I did an April TBR video. I asked as well if like people like watching TBR videos and for the most part, all the comments said yes. So I thought I would start doing proper monthly TBR videos. Even if I don't get through all of them, I just love putting together a TBR and it also really helps me like organize video concept ideas and like all of my reading for the month ahead. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all the books I plan on reading in May. I have so many here. I think I've put together like 16, which is usually the amount that I get through on a good month. I have my Patreon reads. I have quite a few sequels of series I've already started. And I also just have some books that I'm in the mood for and books for video concepts, which I'm obviously not going to share with you now but you will find out later in the month. I reckon I'm just gonna pull books from these piles and share with you the 16 books that I plan on reading in May. So first of all, let's start with my Patreon book club books. I have two books that I'm gonna be reading for Patreon this month. First of all is our main kind of like book club and this month it is A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon by Sarah Hawley. I'm so excited to read this. This was one of my most anticipated 2023 releases and it just looks so fun and so good. And I feel like for my Patreon book club, for the most part, we've read like really heavy kind of dark books. Whereas this one seems to just be really fun, fresh, a romantic comedy with some fantasy elements so I'm so excited to read this one. Basically we follow our main character Marielle and she is a witch in hiding basically and she accidentally summons a demon when a spell goes wrong and her roommate is like who is this man and she says that it's her boyfriend so now she has to fake date this demon while also trying to like send him back to his realm. It just looks so fun, so cute, like the silliest little romance. I love romances that have like a little something extra and this definitely feels like one of those books. So this is probably one of the books I'm most excited to get to in May. We are also doing our series read along. We're reading along the Off Campus and Briar U series together on my Patreon. So our book for that this month is The Chase by Elle Kennedy. This is the first book in the Briar U series. This one will be a reread for me. I think first time I read it, I gave it three stars. Like for the most part, it was pretty fun, but it wasn't anything like spectacular. But now that I've been like so fully deep into the Briar universe this year, I'm really excited to give this one another Go. I think I read this like late 2021. It's been a little while. I don't remember a whole lot about it, but basically it is not an enemies to lovers. It's like roommates romance. It's like false proximity kind of vibe. Follow our main character Summer who is like so loud and so extroverted and then the male love interest is this tattooed hockey player called Fitzy and he is like really into his video games. He's really quiet. So honestly, like their dynamic and the match, like their kind of like shy and loud dynamic is really cute. And even if I didn't like fall in love with them in the first read, I'm excited to see what a reread will bring. So those were my two Patreon reads for the month. Let's move on to some sequels that I'm interested in. First of all, we have Gleam by Raven Kennedy the third book in the Play of Prisoner series. I read Glint, the second book, last month, and I just absolutely fell in love. So obviously I really am keen on continuing it. So much happened in the second book. Like, it's interesting. I feel like the first book and the second book definitely could have combined because they were both so long and not a lot happened in the first book. Like that was mostly set up. But the second book, I feel like we're finally getting into maybe the romance in this one. I'm not quite sure. I've heard so many people describe this series as like a fantasy romance series and there's been no romance so far. There's been like a few kind of smutty scenes, but not romance. But I'm excited to get into the third book. They're just such easy bingeable reads. I read them so fast, even if they are like a bit thicker than the books I normally read. Basically, uh, the Plate of Prisoner series is like a King Midas retelling. It's so good. It's like a fantasy of like war and kings. But we basically follow our main character, Orin, who has been kind of like a slave in a sense to King Midas. And then also in the second book, we started getting perspectives from the queen. And I believe we continue on with her perspectives in here. I just opened it and I realized we get another perspective and it's from a really good character. <gasps> another one. Okay, I think we're getting four perspectives now. 
and they're all like central characters like they're, the, they're all characters that I have like met before I'm not gonna have to get to know anyone new I don't think but that's so exciting I cannot wait to read this one it looks so good the next kind of sequel in a series is more of like a companion so even though I read the first book a really long time ago I don't think it matters like if the stories aren't like super connected it's just kind of like within the same world but it is The League of Gentlewomen Witches by India Holton I I'm so excited to read this because I read the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels well over a year ago now and I absolutely loved it like five out of five stars one of my favorite romance books of all time and then I just never picked up the sequel and I know that the third book is coming out very very soon or I think no I think I got a notification that my pre-order has shipped so I think it's like already just come out so I want to read the second one so I can finally read the third one as well and like finally get back into this world these are just such fun like whimsical historical fantasy romances. The fantasy is not like super heavy. I would even say maybe it's more like magical realism, at least in the first book. But this one, I believe we follow a witch in like Victorian England. And then the main male love interest is a pirate. And I believe he was best friends with the male love interest from the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. And I'm just so excited to read this. I actually watched a reading vlog earlier today from Katie is reading who is one of my new favorite booktubers like love her she brings me all of the vibes from like old school booktube that I used to love but she read this and said it was really good so that kind of like had this was already on my TBR I knew that for a fact but like it was just more confirmation that I really want to read this so I'm so excited to finally pick this one up and get back into India Holton's writing which I loved so much when I first read it and then finally my next sequel that I want to read I was really umming and ahhing about reading this one because the first book was so heartbreaking and I wasn't sure if I'd like the second one now I'm just like I've been thinking about it recently and I was like no I really want to know what happens in the second book so it is all in which is the second book in the full tilt duology full tilt I read in a 24 hour readathon maybe like a few months back now and it absolutely broke my heart oh my gosh it was just so good like it was so 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 good and it was a romance between our two main characters the girl who I forgot her name uh Casey that's right Casey she was like a recovering alcoholic like in a, this girl punk band and then she falls in love with this guy Jonah who has a heart condition and they have this like really unlikely like whirlwind romance and I thought it was so beautiful it was so well written I really really loved it and I'm interested to see what happens in the second book I'm a bit worried I'm a bit worried but I still want to give it a go and again another booktuber that I watched recently it was Chandler's video talking about underrated romance recommendations and she mentioned a different Emma Scott book and that kind of reminded me of the full tilt duology and I was like yeah I need to finish it so hopefully this month is when I finish the full tilt duology and then can maybe get into more of Emma Scott's romance novels oh sorry I realized there is one more sequel on my list as good as dead by holly jackson i really really want to finish this trilogy this is the third and final installment in the a good girl's guide to murder trilogy which i really really loved i loved the first book i loved the second book and i've heard that this one is rough like i've heard that we really get into some trauma in this third book and that's kind of not to sound like macabre or anything or really masochistic but I really wanted more trauma <laughs> in the second book and I feel like we're really getting it in the third one. So obviously I'm really excited to read this. They're such readable, bingeable books. Like I usually read them all in like one sitting. They're so good. So I'm really excited to read this one and then hopefully read Five Survive a bit later on in the year, which is Holly Jackson's other YA thriller. But yeah, if you haven't read the first A Good Girl's Guide to Murder books, like please do because they're so amazing. And we basically just follow our main character Pip who uh, for a school project creates this like true crime podcast and like solves these murders and disappearances and stuff like that so i'm really excited to read as good as dead as well okay now all the rest of the books are kind of for video concepts or what i was just like in the mood for so we're just going to talk about them at random first of all a book that i bought a little while ago and i've been really keen on but i keep skip skipping over it on my tbr shelf and I've decided, no, I'm not going to do that this month. It is The Old Woman with the Knife by Gyu Byung Mo. And this is a Korean mystery thriller. Our main character is a 65-year-old woman who is a contractor.
contract killer and she's about to retire but then like some other random dude comes along and starts like kind of taking some of her clients like taking some of her work and she's like wait no I need to figure out who this is who's like you know on my turf it just looks so 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 good I'm so excited I love like unconventional stories about old people I don't know why but that's like another one of my favorite genres or like favorite tropes so I'm super excited to read this one it just looks amazing while we're on the theme of thrillers I also really want to read Falling by TJ Newman this is a book that was recommended to me like a couple of months ago by one of my patrons or like suggested to me and I looked it up and I was like this looks right up my alley it looks freaking terrifying but it's like a very scary book about this pilot he's about to board a plane his family was kidnapped 30 minutes prior and he is told that like either his family lives or all the passengers on the flight live so it's his decision it looks so terrifying like I don't have a fear of flying but sometimes I do get a little bit anxious in planes of just like not so much being up in the air but more just like that you can't escape so <laughs> this might unlock like a new phobia but we'll see because it just looks so good it looks so exciting so I'm really keen to get to this one I'd also really love to read this book the things we do to our friends by Heather Darwin this is a 2023 release that like when I was making my most anticipated releases video like way earlier in the year maybe even last year like in December I saw this one and I was like absolutely it looks so good I believe it's like dark academia mystery thriller it seems like our main character starts at the University of Edinburgh and there she meets this girl who just kind of like sweeps her off her feet and they become best friends but I think there's kind of like a toxic female friendship there I kind of love stories like that so this one just looks really really good and I'm really excited to read this one speaking of 2023 releases I'm also going to revisit an old favorite author Grady Hendrix and read how to sell a haunted house my friend Cherry said to me recently I'm gonna say one word about that book puppets and I was like you know what I'm kind of into it like that sounds fucking terrifying but I'm kind of into it this is a uh, horror and I believe we follow a uh, like brother sister duo who are trying to sell their like parents house after their parents pass away but the house is like fucking haunted as it says in the title I love haunted house stories so 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 much so I'm really excited to read this one and what I've read from Grady Hendrix in the past I've really really loved so I have no doubt that this is going to be like so fun and so horrifying so yeah I'm really excited to read this one revisiting another favorite author I've put a really risky pick on my TBR I need to catch up with the backlist and the releases of this author coming out because I've read four of his books I've absolutely loved three of them and the, the fourth one I read was just okay apparently this one is one of his worst Survive the Night by Riley Sager I really want to read The House Across the Lake which I do own but I think I need to read Survive the Night first this is basically about a person called Charlie I don't know if they're a male or a female no it's a girly Okay, we follow our main character, Charlie. She's a girly and she's like hitchhiking. Then she, the behind the wheel is this guy called Josh and there's something a bit shady about him. And it all takes place in one evening, which I'm really excited about. I love books that take place within just like 24 hours. But yeah, it definitely has mixed reviews. Like so many people have talked about how much they hated it or were disappointed by it. But I'm very much someone who likes to make up my own mind about things. And I also had heard bad things about Home Before Dark, Riley Sagar's release before this one and I really really loved Home Before Dark I might like this one as well like I might be one of the outliers and you know what I'm gonna be optimistic about it and say that I probably will be so I'm excited to read this one even if people like don't like it as much I think it looks fun so I'm keen I have another 2023 release that I'd really love to read which is Do I Know You by Emily Wibberley and Austin Siegman Broker this is like a writer duo who are like a married couple I think which is so cute but Do I Know You is a romance that came out earlier in the year and we follow our like two main characters who are married but their marriage is kind of falling apart so then they like go on holiday and someone mistakes them for like newlyweds or something or like strangers I don't even know and then they start kind of like role playing as if they've never met before and it kind of spices up the marriage it kind of looks like it's going to be a better version of you deserve each other because I loved the concept of you deserve each other by Sarah Hogel which is like another kind of similar rom-com which is like marriage and turmoil vibes but I didn't love the book this one I haven't tried this author duo before but 
I'm keen to give the like concept of a marriage in turmoil another go. So I'm expecting some fun banter. I'm expecting some like revisiting of the past and like being nostalgic. And I just think it looks really fun and really cute. So I'm excited to read something fluffy, like in between all of the scarier reads I've picked, I realized I have like quite scary books on my TBR. Hopefully this like perks my mood up a little bit. If I get a bit too scared. Next I also have an author that I recently fell in love with and this beautiful book was a gift from my lovely friend Kiala so I'm really excited to read it this month. It is I Found You by Lisa Jewell. I read two Lisa Jewell books already this year and it was my first time reading this author and I really really liked them. They were so much fun and like such easy fun fast reads and I feel like this is going to be no different. We follow two women in this novel. One of them has lost her husband like her husband has gone missing like he's now a missing person person and then a different woman who lives in like a beachside kind of house finds this man washed up on the beach who has all of a sudden lost his memory so i believe there are going to be a lot of secrets uncovered i believe the man is probably the same as the husband but we'll see thrillers can surprise you so i'm expecting lots of good plot twists in this more just fast-paced fun lisa jewel writing style and i feel like this will be a really fun thriller to read in may i also am so excited for this one i cannot believe it's taken me this long to read i'm finally gonna be reading the stolen air by holly black in may i'm so excited i love the folk of the air trilogy so much cruel prince wicked king queen of nothing love them all queen of nothing i think was my favorite i just love them so 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 much so the stolen air is the beginning of a new series and we follow oak who was a character in the first series i just love holly black's like fantasy world building i genuinely believe that like the folk of the air trilogy has some of the best fantasy imagery that i've read in my life like i genuinely love it so much. The enemies to lovers aspect of Cool Prince was also like one of the best things I've read in my life. I'm going to be going into this very blind. I have not even read the back because all I need to know is that it's set in the same world. It's set in Alfheim and we follow Oak. I believe there might be a romance in here. I have no idea. But I believe there's going to be a lot more political intrigue and just more beautiful imagery. Like Alfheim is one of my favorite like fantasy worlds because it's just giving like pure fairy forest just I'm obsessed with it. So I cannot wait to read this one. I would also really love to revisit another author that I've only read one book from, but I rated that book five stars and I cannot believe I have not picked up another one of his books. I'm going to be reading Every Value Break by Peter Swanson. I really, really loved The Kind Worth Killing, five star thriller, one of my favorite thrillers of all time. And I know that the sequel to that, The Kind Worth Saving has come out recently, but it's really expensive, ridiculously priced for a paperback. So I'm going to wait a little bit until hopefully the price goes down and then pick that one up but in the meantime I want to just explore more of Peter Swanson's backlist so I think every value break will be a good one I've heard really good things about this one basically we follow our main character who is on her honeymoon with this billionaire that she's just married so it's all set on an island I love books all set on islands I don't know why like an island setting is just so fun I also realized do I know you has that setting as well so I feel really just my island setting vibe for the month is gonna be so good I think there's a mysterious like charismatic stranger from Abigail's past who is also on the island and some secrets are uncovered so Peter Swanson, like, yes, I've only read one book from him, but I do believe he is the king of plot twists based on how many plot twists were in The Kind Worth Killing. It was just like twist, twist, twist. And I didn't see any of them coming ever. So it was amazing. I'm hoping it's the same with Every Value Break. It just looks like such a fun, good, like bingeable read, which sometimes you just need. So I'm really, really, really excited to discover more gems from Peter Swanson, hopefully. And then finally, the last book that I would love to read in May is In My Dreams of Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. As someone who like loves thrillers, I don't believe I'm a thriller connoisseur just yet, but I've been reading thrillers since before I even started booktube. I really, really love them. And over my years on booktube, I've discovered some really great authors and some really great thrillers. And everyone talks about how good this is and I have not read it yet, which is disgusting. I haven't read anything by Ashley Winstead, but I've heard so many positive things about this one and I know I'm really late to the party, but it just looks so good. It's 
all set at a college reunion also what i love we follow six friends hey queens so i'm editing and basically my footage corrupted but basically i just explained what in my dreams i hold a knife is about and then i also said that like i wanted to go in fairly blind because i don't want to know too much about it anyway that's it that's literally it i don't know why my footage keeps corrupting i have a new sd card on the way but anyways I can't wait to finally read this and understand like the hype, understand why everyone loves it so much. So yeah, this is definitely on my list for May. So those are all the 16 books I would love to read in May. Let me know if you see any like patterns because maybe I might have some certain reading vlogs coming out. You never know. And also let me know if any of these are your favorites and what I should prioritize and all that sort of stuff. That's it for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I will have monthly TBRs out every single month. I think it'd be really fun to revisit them all at the end of the year and be like, okay, what did I actually read? Don't know why I'm telling you that, but I'm kind of just like speaking my thoughts as I think them right now. But yeah, again, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching watching a reminder that all of my socials are linked down below along with my patreon so if you do want to know what any of <laughs> the reading vlogs are coming up in may i do share my monthly video schedule like on the first of the month every single month so if you don't care about spoilers and you just want to know like what is coming in the world of jamie's library in the next month that link is down below as well as so many other perks. But yeah, guys, again, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all so much and I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye.